Good morning and good evening, everyone. Uh, today uh, we will explore how can we generate PDF directly in Power Apps. But before to deep dive into that, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, myself, Shiv. I am uh, I'm a Microsoft Vice Specialist. Uh, majorly worked in Power Automate, Power Apps, Power Platform, Power BI, SPFX, Azure. That's all. And uh, let me quickly uh, let me quickly uh, give overview of this app. So basically, in this uh, uh, case we will first of all we will uh, go through the introduction and then we will explore the features and then we will go through the speaker page and then we will lastly will uh, explore about PDF generation and export and mail. So like let me quickly tell you the about this particular use case. So here uh, we are generating and exporting the PDF uh, in Power Apps where uh, we are using the we are sending the email to the user with as attachment of that same PDF content, and that PDF is uh, fully responsive and dynamic, uh, and also contains uh, custom styling on the PDF as well as the mail body. And usually, it's like also contains the feature like loader and all. And uh, we are all uh, it's already uh, uh, unnecessary like buttons and all that also has been maintained in this particular scenario. So this is the page which I will show you in the live demo after this, uh, where we have all the information of all the speakers, speakers name, their description, number of speaking event they have uh, did till now, the their type like they are a key speaker, they are a keynote speaker, etc. And then we have a status like uh, that particular speaker is approved or that's under process, under reviewed, and then. Is he uh, is uh, like an internal speaker or a guest or external, and then details. So, uh, in this particular page, uh, we have uh, used modern tables that have interactive features like such as sorting, filtering, they are like ascending, descending, and all, and a totally responsive design uh, across the screen. And then after it, uh, once we will click that row, and then will be navigate to the detail view that will contain that option to export that particular PDF in the mail. So that's the detail page where we have this email PDF option uh, and the details of the speakers in. And we can also like update the details as well in this page. Uh, as I told you, uh, this particular uh, PDF responsive, which contains all the information and adjust within the PDF layout and uh, uh, on that particular button click, uh, it's export to the user with all the details and uh, these, these functionality which I already told you. And yeah, and not, uh, and yeah, custom styling and all. So let me quickly show you the app right away. So earlier, like I have taken the same use case that uh, speaker hub platform where I just uh, made a new page that's all speaker page that I told you that I saw you in the last slides uh, where we can uh, sort them on basis of their names and and we like also if a number type column then larger to small and these all are the predefined uh, features uh, and this is totally responsive and also in mobile view. We can sort them on the basis of the column types and we can apply the filters as well. So once uh, and in the last we have this row count that's a, also a pre-default functionality of that modern tables. So here what I did uh, on that row, uh, I just uh, on uh, select that particular item, I just navigate to one of the page that is a detail page where I just used uh, this, uh, you can say the screen header and form screen where uh, uh, where we have uh, this is a header, and then we have put this particular container that is horizontal container, and there we have that particular button to export that PDF, and blow are the details, and we can update the details here. And let me quickly show you the here data will come, but we will it will generate the process the data, and it will send to the respective user. Let me show you the output of that. So. This is the mail which user will receive 
with all the information yeah this is like i have, I have taken the few details only but we can customize this as per the requirements and attachment has been attached in this mail body and you and as you can observe this particular styling of that pdf is different uh, than the actual one that we shown in the list so yeah this is uh, custom styling uh, that we can put and is totally responsive so let me show you quickly that so here uh, this is a, uh, a screen uh, which uh, you you can leverage that is header and table like this is a modern uh, screen which is uh, uh, you can say uh, fully responsive uh, you can use your uh, labels and all with parent dot width and parent dot height and as per the active requirements in this particular screen we have responsive containers uh, that is skin container and that header container which consists header uh, where i just customize the title that is our speaker and then i uploaded the logo and i replace it and below it we have main container that is this table container which uh, we which, uh, which i am leveraging modern table and i am using that list and uh, using these columns of the speaker details and on that particular container on the table on select i am just navigating this particular uh, detail speaker page and we had selected that let me show you yeah here here uh, i have used one container let me show you and uh, i just use this variable uh, dynamic variable uh, where i am just setting is visibility as true or false on basis of that pdf button click on the top i am just setting that variable as true and once pdf generated i make as false and i am using that variable for this visibility of that loader and uh, then this is a main skin container and this header same similarly in the last uh, uh, screen we have to modify the title and the logo and then this container uh, that we are using this for this button for exporting the pdf uh, we are putting this button uh, which contain actual code for generating a pdf so i am leveraging office 65 outlook connector uh, for using send email version 2 and i am sending email to the logged in user dot email that is myself because i'm loading I'm logged in using this ID, and this is my mail body. You can uh, customize as per your need, and then I use dynamic uh, some values like my table dot selected dot column name, similarly speaker type and all, and below that most important attachment function uh, where we have to give the name of that PDF. That is uh, where I just uh, in my table I have a column speaker name, so I have selected that table dot selected dot speaker name dot PDF as simple as that. And after that content uh, content bytes. So we, here we have to mention of your container names and uh, most important, very important expand containers. So true. What it will do? It will uh, it will uh, it will consider your child. Uh, uh, child structure as well like we have a you have a one <clears throat> parent and you have sub uh, gallery so you can say <clears throat> uh, particular uh, container so that will also exclude that after that i am just uh, sending emails sorry sending notification um, with one second duration and here uh, i use that variable for setting on top i am just this is a loader variable where uh, I'm showing the loader and also I'm hiding this buttons of that. Let me show you these button. So I'm also setting the visibility uh, using this variable true or false. So once we will click, we will make it true. And once uh, it will generate the PDF and send the email after it will, we are making them false as simple as that. And uh, after that, this is our main container. I am using, I am leveraging the same for this particular screen. I leverage uh, this one screen. Let me show you header and form. 
uh, which also can uh, consist uh, responsive containers this header and that form let me show you that form where the data source is my same list and i just mentioned my fields and in this submit button i just submit and reset my form as simple as that thank you that's it Thank you.